Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to fixing up the Commonwealth. And as you can see, we're doing something a wee bit different today. I'm going to give you a quick look around, show you where we're up to progress-wise, and um, then we'll get into the building. Thought I'd do something a little bit different this year with the presentation. So this is a little test uh, to see if you like this. Please uh, leave me some com comments. Um, and tell me what you think about this way of presenting. So. We've done a few changes here um, since last you were here. We've um, put a little pathway in, some stairs and whatnot. And if you haven't guessed already, this is going to be a little factory of some kind. So you can see we've put the conveyor system in. Not without its issues at this point. Um, you can see these feet are off the ground and one thing or another. I do know how to fix that. I've played around with it a little bit and hopefully we will get to the final walkthrough today and you'll see that those all get fixed um, up on this level here we'll just walk you around there's quite a bit to um, to kind of tweak and change today and uh, we'll be doing a lot of that in this build of video today and then once we have done that we will uh, give you the final tour you can see the stairs are in they're going to move so lots going on Hope you're going to enjoy this one guys and welcome back to the channel. So we'll get into the build menu in a minute. We've got to get the roof on today, finish off a couple of walls up here and, um, and pretty much we're done and we will definitely do a walk through today. Um, then it's on to what we do next with this settlement and I would love to hear your ideas. I have got some things that I'm, I'm thinking of um, and again they are influenced by uh, Fallout 76. This whole area is really, uh, this whole building is influenced by Fallout 76. Now you can see these are, um, they're hanging off the ground and I'll play around with them for a while, but basically what you have to do is you have to put these down first and then you snap the conveyors on top of them. Now, the conveyors that, conveyor system I'm using is actually from uh, one of the master plan, um, one of the master plan um, mods called stairs, ladders and ramps. So I hadn't played with it before, hence why it's, yeah, it's all a bit new to me. So moving on, we um, we come upstairs. I was looking for these specific looking walls, and I was looking more for the inside look of the walls rather than the outside. And um, this is again in uh, Snappy High Skits, and um, so I'm just going through and having a good look at what it has to offer. I thought I'd leave this in because it, it, it it's quite interesting to if you um, might save you some time when you're exploring with Snappy High Skits, but. Um, this red brick actually matches in quite nicely with what we've got and um, so we end up going with this and I'll cut out all the faffing that I've done and finally go okay better get building because we've been the peeps peeps are getting restless it's three minutes in and we haven't done a thing so scroll through go okay that's quite nice and then I find another set of uh, windows in a minute that I go oh no 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 so look there they are very industrial looking and suit this building absolutely down to a T so there you go um, we're going to replace those put those in for consistency there are half walls of these in you can see okay now it's being special the other one snapped in no problem that one's going to find me of course it is why because it can no other reason. So we'll put it over there for now and um, we'll find a few more walls to go in there. So it's really not, it's really good to just um, explore with this kind of stuff. Uh, you never know what you might find in the end um, as far as uh, pieces that you haven't used before. That stairway is going to move again. I was looking f to see if we could get down and make a secret area downstairs which I decide not to do but that will snap down on there like that so I'm just basically faffing around here really <laughs> sorry about that usually we cut all this stuff out as you know so um, we finally find the right wall like yep snap that in there was that window going to go are we going to move that or are we what are we doing 
See if that'll snap now. Come. It, I saw it for that split second, which means that there you go. It will snap. So yeah, there's a whole section down below us there that um, gets covered completely up in the final build, which I probably in hindsight should have maybe tried to open up and utilize. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just the way it works out when you're building like this. Okay, so stairs got to move. Stair you'll see where those end up. I'm not going to show you the stairs moving again. You'll see where they end up in the final uh, walkthrough. Snap a few more walls on. You can see that's now interfering with um, with that part of the build. So, yeah. Hmm. Go figure. And sometimes this will snap to really weird places. So, um, I'll just use place anywhere just to get it out of the way for now. And we're going to snap something on. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing here, but um, I'm sure. Oh, well, there we go. Put the floors in. That's what we're doing. Okay, coming back. Got the floors in. The floors were. Everything was just fighting me on this today. I don't know what it's. Yeah, I'm sure you've had those days that things just won't work for what whatever you decide to do. They just will not snap where they're supposed to snap. And anyway. Not to worry, we, we actually get it to all work eventually. See, see that? That's sitting at... No. And yeah, patience and... Uh, I think it's a build order thing. I think it's what... It's, the problem is it's what's snapping above us. There it goes. See? You just get to keep pushing and you can see the stairs have been re-purposed um, somewhere else now and that's where they end up staying in the end. So again, we're going to have to pull this a few things out to get this last wall in. Of course, it's always the last wall, but really nice look. Adds something really nice, I think, to the overall look of the um, of the building. So I'm really happy with how it ends up. And you see, I'm getting a bit of a frame rate drop there for some reason. Just to leave that hanging out the building, because why not? Really. I want to leave at least one uh, of those um, stairs there so that this will snap straight back on, maybe, he said optimistically. If not, we'll just have to, um, we'll just have to persuade it in there. Because this is kind of the key, this thing. Sometimes it just fights you all day, as I said, and um, yeah. I'll get it in roughly where I think it needs to go. Put this other step on and then I can reposition it if I need to. There we go. See, because that will snap like that. And then sometimes what you can do is just lift it and drop it again and it will snap to everything it needs to and position itself as it needs to. That's the one thing I do notice about snappy house kits. You will get this these frame drops. And um, don't be worried about it. Um, you just... Uh, click on another app and it will um, fix itself. So just a couple of uh, finishing touches to go and then we'll put the roof on and we'll get into the final tour hopefully. Um, I've enjoyed building this actually. This has been real fun to do. Um, something completely different from what I usually do. So um, it's, it's always a learning curve when you're building something like this but at the same time it's also very exciting. And um, gives you some another element to your building. See, that's I don't know. What, see, see that it's just not snapping in right. But I'm not too worried about it to be honest. It see that lines up. So it's yeah. Let's see, see that kind of stuff for me personally just annoys me. So we might have to put the oh, little single ones in, or we can just pull it back like that, and it will just snap in the place. So we can you can see now how this all flows, and we can move all the way around this and on a different up into different levels and it's all worked out really really nicely this room's looking fantastic and so we need to go upstairs and start working on the roof and um, i find a really nice roof for this uh, for this building just by um it's one of those happy accidents that i talk about a lot on the channel but this is another one so I found this roof again in Snappy House Kits, um, metal kits, uh, vanilla, add vanilla, 
and look at these these are perfect for what we're going for the, the the look we're going for the whole vibe we're going for fantastic the only thing that i would say about this roof is the only problem i have is there's no kind of side area you see there that sh should be a little bit of a triangle the slope that goes up there's nothing that fills that so i ended up having to improvise a little bit on that but we do figure it out in the end and you'll see a little bit later on the tour what exactly i've done with that and um, find these awnings too and they fit right there and it again it just adds a little bit more to the realism of uh, and the the lore of this building and um yeah just things started to finally come together for me yay <laughs> um what you might have a problem with sometimes is this roof might not line up perfectly but it's easy to fix and i'll show you i'm going to leave in how i put the the roof together because it, it, it's it's a reasonably easy thing to fix they should all snap together nicely um, jump on the roof here and just keep snapping them across there we go we've got a little bit of a platform there but this will we will get it into place now of course the thing you got to be conscious of is that you don't fall off the roof at this point because that would be embarrassing not that that ever happens in any of my videos ha 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 he said um see these are the pieces sort of snap in there but i end up taking them out because they're too bulky they're just yeah, they're just messy so anyway we'll put them in as a temporary fix for now and um, see how we go see i'm putting that in there and going okay well that looks all right but when you look at it outside it just it doesn't look right so i don't want to show you what how i fix it but i, I do do some tweaking on that and um, fine tuning and whatnot see there's two of these i'll figure it out in a sec or i might not okay oh hang on hang on i found the other one that fixes in there like that and then we find these pieces in there so it's just a case of pushing these across now there are different versions of this as i'm about to find out and um, some which have kind of um that kind of scrappy look some that have uh, skylights in them and the skylights is what I end up going with and it really does work really nicely so so you can see we've got some snapping issues there and we do have I think we end up having some alignment issues I've sped this up because it's just snapping stuff together really and um, so yeah just be conscious of that that they might not snap right the first time and you might just have to do some fine tuning like this to get them to all kind of line up nicely but you can see this just uh, speaks of an industrial type um, situation and building for this build so I'm really happy that I found these and again another happy accident that yeah you know, just things sometimes happen like that there we go wavy wavy very wavy um, roof and then we'll chuck these in there like that because I like these I like these elements that will give you the um will give you some light now that this becomes a problem again i do refine this and fix it um later on in the build which again i don't think i show you so we're going to go to the tour in a second and you can have a good look around at the finished item so welcome back to county crossing we're just going to do a quick tour hi dog mate how you doing you can see I've added a few bits and bobs, done a bit of decoration, and hopefully this is fairly close to being um, complete though. So I'm coming in from a slightly different angle, I guess. And you can see we've added, we haven't added too much, I guess. Little bits of these um, metal pieces. That van obviously was there before. Open sesame. And really the decoration for this, you can see we've got a uh, yeah, forklift there, but the decoration for this is lots of pallets, boxes, lots of odds and ends that look as though they should belong here. We'll do this 
reasonably slowly so you can get a good look around it has a great vibe about it this building I really really like it you can see look there again a few things clipping through the wall there but it's uh, not too bad so this is the factory lunchroom complete with kitchen and a locker so they come in they'll dump their gear you know, sit down and put their work clothes on and when it comes lunchtime, you know, they'll grab a soda or a soft drink, have a seat, unpack whatever they need to, and, and chomp away on their food. There's also a bathroom in here. Accommodates both the male and the females. So it's a unisex bathroom. Wash your hands and do your hair if you need to. Sink on the other side too. All come out very nice. A little bit of clipping there. Not sure why, but anyway. Moving up onto level one, and again, much of the same. We may need to do a little bit more. Oh, there's a plan for something. A little bit more decoration in here. I feel those shelves a little bit more, but. And I've um, just dotted these work benches around the place. Ooh, cap stash. And you can see there's the um, the computers to run each of these machines here. I'd like to hear down in the comments. What do you think this might have been used for? What do you think it might have been producing? It'd be interesting to hear your thoughts having seen the, the walkthrough video you can see we've got these um, great um, posters or uh, decals that come with um, Dead Wasteland there's one there Boston Bugle there's a Nuka Cola one there and they, they luckily would work with these uh, subway walls that I put in Fairly nicely. So we'll go around level two. And again, try to keep this true to what you'd find in the game. Probably need to put a few bits and bobs on the shelves here and on the table. I've kept it fairly sparse, I guess. And here is the main um, computer room for running the whole plant. This is where all the um, machines that go bing 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 are. A couple of terminals in here. Which I actually found in Snappy House Kids. If you go to Snappy House Kids and you go to Furniture you'll find these. Which I, I didn't know were there I must be honest and I'm pretty happy that they are. I left this gap here so you can kind of just step over here if there's an issue. Have a look what's happening and then you can adjust it on your main control panel there. Extended this um, platform a little bit so I could put um, these benches in. Okay, you can tinker away here if you like while watching what's going on down below. I love the way the roofs come out in this. It really does look very derelict. And finally, the, the production manager's office, or the plant manager, whatever you want to do. Again, kept it very kind of simple and uh, very much on point, is what you would expect. Nothing to flash in here. And then we can go up onto the roof. The only problem with going up onto the roof, I need to put the door to f move the other way. And you get a pretty good view from up here, up on the roof. Put these turrets in because they've been attacked a couple of times. So I'll make, just make sure that these uh, keep us nice and safe. You see I put a turret down on the main little shark there. So let's go and do a little bit of a look-see around the outside. That silo's kind of Intruding into the stairs there, but it's not too bad. I 
and I really do like it. I think it looks genuine. I think it looks as though it's been here for a while. You see, we've got a little utility area here with a fuel in it. Use the barn pieces, and you can see there's a bit of a support for that there, just to kind of disguise the fact that that um, floor, for some reason, is sticking out like that. I did all these bits and pieces, these metal pieces that we get with dead wasteland onto the side of the wall. Another thing that just adds to the overall look. That silo is looking okay. It's not as close to the wall as I'd like it. I might adjust that. Power generation is there obviously and there's a couple of fuse boxes. I've added a fence to a point here. I like the overall look of this building. Maybe that needs to go up a bit, I think. Oh, that's not too bad. And then you have a fire escape on this side, and you can actually go all the way up if you need to onto the top of the building and hop up onto the roof, do maintenance. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the build. Now, the next question is, what do we do with the rest of this settlement? I'd like to hear your uh, your comments. I've got to try and hide that wall to some degree. So I'll have to do something kind of interesting with that. But what can we do? Do we take that building out and rebuild it? Do we rebuild those walls with existing pieces? Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the next part of the build. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for supporting Fixing Up the Commonwealth. And we'll see you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya.